Hello there, this is DBT and these are the rooms. And alright, let's continue playing some more Asphalt 9 in the global version on Android. And today we're going to be driving the Peugeot Onyx in multiplayer to determine... How far can it take me? That's right, it's another one of these episodes in which I drive a particular car in multiplayer and, well, see how far it takes me. Now, as I'm recording this, it's very much the end of the Ghost Slipstream season and I'm already in Platinum League. In fact, I'm somewhere in the middle of Platinum League, so my interest is over here is to see if by any chance I'm gonna manage to make it to Legend League with this car. Now, full disclaimer, this car I have driven before, you know, by myself and all of that, and this is a car that can absolutely take me to Elite. However, will I be able to do it in, um, in Ghost Slipstream? I don't know. Now, just having a quick look at the stats, first of all, the car, I only have it at max, I do not have it at gold, I don't have a single epic applied on the car, so this is just as high as you can take the car without any of the additional stuff, and you can see that this is short by almost over 200 points um, from the maximum rank, so make of that what you will. Now, looking at the stats themselves, you're gonna notice that the top speed is definitely faster than the average for class A, but it's not necessarily, wow, insanely fast, though. It's still pretty good. Uh, for the acceleration, it's all right. Nothing special, but it's not bad at all. For handling, it's really, really high for a Class A car. And the Nitro, it's okay. Nothing too special. So, all right, having looked at that, let's start it up. Okay, so apparently the game just... Uh, it, it's complete mi league mixing right now because I'm facing exclusively Class S cars. Yay! I don't think I'm going to get very far, but hey... I wanted to test this car before, or rather, at the very end of the season. Well, it's not that I wanted to test this car at the end of the season. It's more that this is the moment or the chance that I had in, to test this car. And that has to do with the fact that, well, this video is probably coming out in quite a bit from the time that I recorded it. I don't know, it might be like the week after, two weeks, three weeks, who knows. But I'm recording this at the very, very, very tail end of the Festive Spark season. And it was important for me to, to, to record at the very end of this season, or at least during the last week, because that's when you get the most fuel from the Legend Pass. Because you know that in the global version of the game, I don't get the Legend Pass very often. In fact, it's very rare nowadays for me to get it. But I did get it in here because obviously of the Lambo that you could acquire in the season. And then on top of that, there was the advantage. Hey, not too bad, fourth place, considering that I was racing against a lot of Class S. Um, but also the fact that in this season you could get five additional fuel, making a car like this that normally has three fuel to have eight. So that's pretty good. Look at that. I beat a Tri Nemesis. Uh, wow, this is a gold Chiron, I think. Uh, Connex a Yesco and another Chiron. Man, that's not bad. I mean, I did get beaten by the Ultima, Yesco, and Speedtail, but still, really good result for, for this car, huh? Okay, this looks more normal. Class A cars. All right, there we go. I don't know why in the previous race I just got Class S, but hey, here we go. Class A. So, you can see that there's already uh, at least a couple more of the Peugeot Onyx in fancy colors. I need to try some color combinations on this car. Though the, the original color, I like it a lot. But yeah, this is a relatively common car thanks to the... What's it called? To the um, Starway. Which I have said from the moment that the Starway began that that was a fantastic idea to make some some cars more acquirable. Except for the Hurricane. The Hurricane is a car that is very easy to acquire in general. So now that there's also the Starway for it, well, now the spam is even higher, but whatever. Um, but for example, this car, I don't even know how you would be able to acquire this car normally. I know for sure that it was an exclusive car for, what, for quite a while, but now, thanks to the Starway, well, we see a lot of this car, and yeah, that might make it a little bit spammed in a way, but, you know, that's just the nature of the beast when there's a good car that is available for, in a relative, oh god, in a relatively easy way, well, you're gonna see it quite a bit. Come on, come on. Oh, no! I was so close to the first place. We must have finished almost at the same time. <coughs> Uh, difference of 60 something milliseconds, 67 milliseconds. Hey, still, but it's a Valhalla. Valhalla, I think this is almost like gold Valhalla. And I still managed to get uh, not, not a bad result at all, beating as 570E Spider, Onyx, Genty, also gold, by the way. Quira BC, Onyx, and a Gra Wow, look at that Grand Sport. It was trying, it was trying. 
And this is also a bit more what I expected. See a bit of a mix of class A with class S. Not only class S like in the first race, but anyway. So yeah. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing, guys. Again, remember that I'm recording this at some point in the past, so the cough is still present. But who knows? Maybe by, by the time this video is released, I'm still coughing. And if that's the case, it's just going to be sad for me. But anyway. Um, yeah, for, for a free car, this thing, it's really, really good. And the fact that it's a repeating event, because, you know, there's cars like the Victor, which is also a six-star class A, and that is a car that I do consider, in a way, like the competition to this car, in the sense that it's a six-star class A car that goes fast and all of that. But the Victor, for example, it's only available in car hunts, and that happens, like, once a year. But the fact that this, this thing keeps on coming back every, I don't know how many months, you definitely have the opportunity to take this car um, to five stars. Now, I, you could take it to six star before with some trickery. That's how I got it to six star. I don't know. I heard that Gameloft changed how that system works, and now it's not as easy to get it to six star. And honestly, I don't know because at that point, oh my god, I missed the jump. Oh no, RIP my race. Never mind. I messed up. Oh, had I not missed that jump, maybe I could have got. I definitely could have gotten a better result. But oh well. It is what it is. It happens. It's fine. Oh, got 12 points lost. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get to a lead here, but let's see. What beat me? Uh, Valhalla, Onyx, Aguero RS, Huaro BC, Apollo Wen. Look at that. Uh, Evo Spider and a Shiron. Oh, wow. That, that Shiron didn't go, didn't do very well. Okay, here we go. I see a Spitzel over there. I see more Onyx. I see, uh, is that a, a Hurricane? Yes, that's a Hurricane. And is that a... I honestly don't even know what that car is. For a moment, I thought that's a Venom. Could be a Venom. No, that's a Gent Genti Genti Aculon. I don't know. Whatever. I honestly didn't pay attention to the cars as the race was loading, but oh well. Um, but yes, I was saying, so this car and the Victor, I see them similar on being uh, acquirable six stars, free-to-play cars. But again, the, 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 the Victor is much more rare simply because it's a car hunt car. Oh, God. I'm fine. I'm fine. Now that slowed me down a lot, and thanks to that, oh, Jesus. Hold on, let me try to focus over here, because I really would like to get to, to Legend League, but seeing what I'm seeing over here with my competition, I don't think that's going to be super easy to do. But I will say that I have always found difficult to get to Legend League in, in Slipstream, in Ghost of Slipstream. So if I can get at least close to that, that'll make me feel a little bit better. Because for the longest time in this version of the game, on the global version as opposed to the Switch, I don't have a ton of cars. I mean, I do have a bunch of cars, but a lot of them are at low stars, especially in Class A. Class S, let's not even talk about it. But in Class A, um, I don't have necessarily a ton of cars, and the cars that I do have are low stars and whatnot. So the fact that now I finally have some competitive cars for Class A in this particular game mode, that actually is pretty good. Uh, fast cars that perform really well because I could always bring something like an Apollo in, which is even faster, but you know, it's not as performant. But all right, first place beating Onyx, Onyx, Speedtail, Genti Aquilon, uh, McLaren 570S, and two Hurricanes. Lovely, lovely stuff. How many points did I get? I didn't even see. Yeah, I mean, I'm still quite a bit away from getting here, but we'll try. But yes, I was saying, I wanted to record the, this video during the end of this season because of the additional 5 fuel. Having 8 fuel for this car, it's absolutely crazy because that's a bunch of races that I can record in one go. And yes, normally the maximum would be 7 races, meaning 7 fuel. So this is definitely a bit of a bonus. Um, so yeah, here we are. That's why I'm recording this. And honestly, if... The, I would consider, I mean, this is literally falling into the, the trap that Gameloft has laid for the players of this game, but these cars that have so little fuel, if I want to drive them more, I have to go for the Legend Pass. And I was about to say that if the Legend Pass always gave a decent amount of fuel, like in here, five fuel instead of four, and they were to give them a bit sooner in the, in the Legend Pass as opposed to during the very last week, um, I would consider going for the Legend Pass a bit more often, but like I was saying, I don't really play this version of the game that much compared to the Switch version. The Switch version is my favorite version of Asphalt 9 for the many reasons that I have talked about over the years. Um, if you want me to explain it again, I will in another video. Uh, you have to let me know in the comments if you want to hear my reasoning as to why I like that version. But anyway, um, yeah, I play the Switch version so much more, so that is where I buy the Legend Pass. Legend Pass, not so much in this version because I'm not going to be buying two Legend Pass every single season. More 
or rather less now that the seasons are short in both games in in the this version in the global version has always been it's been short for a while now but even on the switch now the seasons have also shortened so that's not great i am now 31 points away from getting to legends that's kind of dope all right beaten by a shiron but i did beat three onyxes a jesco another onyx and an apollo and see that's what i'm saying the apollo end might be quick but it's not as performant as this car is okay and i think that for this race there's only class a and b cars so yay maybe i have a decent opportunity i don't know um so yeah overall yeah finally having this car and i also have the victor i eventually managed to get the victor precisely through a car hunt and i have it at six stars though i have not finished upgrading that car in fact i originally thought that i was going to record a video with the victor here but then i realized like oh no the one that i did quote unquote finish upgrading was this one and not the victor and i don't have the credits for the victor so it's not like i can do it soon but you know it is what it is it's fine at least i get to drive this car and honestly it's curious because, like I said, I find these two cars comparable, though the Victor does accelerate much slower than this. So what is the advantage of the Victor? I think maybe it's the Nitro. So if it has decent Nitro, honestly, I don't remember right now. But I do believe that the advantage, while this has better acceleration, I do believe that the Victor has better Nitro. Other than that, the top speed is comparable, though I believe that the Victor is a bit faster. But anyway, um... So, if it has better Nitro, then it's alright for me to try the, the Victor in Classic Season or whatever. Yeah, it should be Classic Season next. But, we'll see. Over here in Ghost of Slipstream, this thing is definitely quite the beast as demonstrated in this video. Please give me 31 points. Please give me 31 points. Come on, game. I believe in you. You can give me 31 points. Did you? Oh! <laughs> exactly 31 points. Let's go, Barber! Oh, yeah. Look at that. So, defeating uh, Pagani Huara BC, Remake Concept 1, Peugeot Onyx, Hurricane, Huara, Hurricane, and Avalhalla. Damn. Well, let's go, look back, back. Let's go. Look at this. I think this is the very first time that I managed to get to Legend League in Ghost Slipstream. That's the power of this car and the fact that I have a bunch of fuel. That helps a lot, too. Um, but because I still have one more fuel left for this car. Oh, no, actually, two more fuel. We need to spend it. I did say that it's rare to have this much fuel, so might as well spend them. Oh, and actually just unlock the dual color options. Oh, let's go. Let me find something cool to do. Oh, uh, look, well, where's my music? There it is. Look at this. Oh, uh, yeah. I just unlocked the dual color right now. I didn't have it available. I still have not unlocked matte, but we'll get to that at some other point. But oh, uh, look at that. Oh, I like it. Now, if you're going to get a heart and a pin, you need to leave me the key phrase, which is a comment that you leave me in the comment section. <laughs> And the key phrase for today is, for a free car, the Onyx goes really hard. First person to post it gets the heart, the pin, anybody else that posts it afterwards only gets the heart. Because I can only do one pin, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, seriously, I'm rather surprised, rather surprised, ah, pleasantly surprised at the performance of this car, so long as you don't crash dumbly onto a wall, but it's all right. It's a, oh, Jesus. And that is another thing that I wanted to mention. I honestly haven't encountered too many physics issues for this car. You know that there's some cars that are super finicky with the physics. This is pretty planted. Now, does it do floaties? Who knows? I don't have the skills to do that. I haven't figured out how to do that just yet. Uh, give me some more time of playing with these higher performance cars. And once I get to learn how to do floaties and all of that, I'll be able to tell you, yeah, this car does floaties. Or maybe this one doesn't. But honestly, at this point... I'm too ignorant on it. Just in the same way that for a long time, I've been very ignorant in Class S performance, but now that at least on the Switch, I have had much more of an opportunity to drive the Class S cars because I have more Class S cars. Now I have learned a little bit how to do that. Oh, how many people just got on the left there too? Hey, at least I was in last place. So that's something though. I'm gonna lose some points. Yes, 12 points lost. So long as I don't get demoted, that is enough. But all right, I got beaten by a Valhalla, a Perda, an Onyx, but I did beat uh, 570 Spider, Huara BC, uh, W12. Oh, look at that. It's a big class B car and another Onyx, but three disconnects. All right, fine. All right, this is gonna go absolutely terrible because it's only class S. Look at that. There's a Tuatara Agera RS. Oh boy. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Is that a. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. As I always say, this series, this is just kind of how this series goes, you know? It's. I'm testing this one car to see, well. How far can it... You know how that goes. 
Um, just to see how far it takes me. And there comes a point when it took me as far as I could allow it to take me or whatever. And I'm going to get destroyed. So, yeah, just generally, by concept, this type of videos begin on a high and getting decent results. And end up on a low when I'm losing a bunch of races. But you know what? It's fine. I can live with that. One person did disconnect from this race. So that makes me curious as to am I not going to lose too many points because technically I did beat one individual. I'm not going to beat the other ones because all of them I believe are class S cars. So I don't really stand much of a chance unless they end up breaking or something. But seems <coughs> a little bit unlikely. Um, but yeah, seriously, I this car, it's quite a bit of a beast. The fact that it's a free car that you can acquire relatively constantly, even if you can only get it at five stars. Um, a five star obviously is not going to perform as good as this, but it should still be very, very, very performant. So it's definitely a car that you should go for. Make an effort to get into the Starway cars because this is absolutely worth it. Oh, someone else disconnected again, huh? That means that I'm going to reach podium. Ha! Lovely, lovely stuff. But yeah, fantastic, fantastic result with this car and getting to Legend League for the very first time. It's such a pleasure. Oh, look at that. I gained two points because technically I did beat. Oh, I was only, well, it was a, an F5, but <coughs> I'm fine. But still, overall, really good results with the car. I'm rather impressed. And again, I totally recommend it to go for it if you have an opportunity to go for it. Because, man, such a beast. But all right, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Remember that I post basically daily. Even if it's of all the games, but there's always content to watch in the channel. So go ahead, subscribe, because there's stuff to watch. But that's all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and stay safe. Bye-bye.